what's up guys so i'm gonna continue a little bit i just made a video i'm gonna keep going a little bit so it was about planting seeds and if you saw if you saw some of the first video you understand more or less where i'm coming from so i want to keep going so do you even have seeds planted have you planted any seeds watching tv is not planting a seed or maybe it is but it's not significant seed um eating taco bell um buying a purse buying shoes those are not really planting seeds do you have any seeds planted in your life is there any anything that you're working on day after day that you're watering that you're keeping in the sun that you're helping grow that you wake up and you're like i gotta go take care of my seeds do you even have any seeds in your life that you're taking care of think about that and if you don't, then what kind of seeds do you want to plant? What would make you excited? What's gonna, what are you gonna remember? What are you gonna have the energy, the desire to be like, man, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go take care of this garden. And it doesn't have to be a literal garden. But if you love gardening, literally, you plant seeds, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna go take care of that garden every day. So now just change it. The garden doesn't have to be a literal garden. But do you even have a garden? Do you even have seeds planted? Do you have anything in your life that you're waking up to take care of, that you make that you can't wait to help make it grow? The garden could be, you know, full of fruit trees. And then with those fruit trees, you're gonna make money to take care of your garden further. You're gonna sell those fruits and you're gonna share those fruits, those delicious fruits that you're growing that you can't wait to sell because you take care of those trees so well. And you're going to go sell those fruits, make money and take care of the garden and make more fruit. You understand? What do you like? So um, working for somebody else, that's not really planting a seed. Um, going to a job that you don't love, that's not there's no seed planted there. You have no garden. You're not growing anything. So I mean that to encourage people. You're, for example, how many of you know, for example, you know, how many of us know I'm a badass worker, dude? Like how many of us know we go to work like I'm a badass worker. I get I get down. I fucking I put in my my strong effort and I I take care of my workplace. How many of us feel like, you know, we look at the boss or the manager, the person in charge and we're like, man, I and we don't mean it in a bad wrong way, but we understand like, man, that we could do better than that. How many of us go to our job, our workplace, and we're like, dude, I got what it takes to run this fucking shit, you know? I got what it takes to get down. I get down. You look at the manager, you're like, that guy doesn't care. I could take care of this this workplace better than that guy. How many of us know how fucking badass workers we are? So then that means there's passion in you. That means that you have something in you when you go to your job and you know you get down you know you're a badass well then do something with that start thinking about what kind of seeds you want to plant what do you want to do use that badass that you are to make something happen you know instead of thinking oh i could run this workplace better than better than that guy you know i could have i could be in charge and run these people better than and i could take care of them better treat them better this and that Instead of, uh, this is one thing I've noticed, instead of, this is one thing I've noticed with my life, instead of focusing on why things bother me at my workplace, and I'm just learning these things, but instead of focusing on why things bother me, and how I could do things better, and things I don't like, basically blaming things around me for me for my feeling annoyed you know like all oh, that manager sucks or all oh, that that owner doesn't even care about his business or her business instead of looking for things that annoy me now i'm like thinking i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a i'm gonna find ways to have a good day where i understand that my garden is growing because i'm feeding myself knowledge 
through personal hands-on experience, through reading, through studying, through taking notes, through understanding that the seeds I've planted, I really love. And I'm getting those seeds growing. And every day I'm taking care of it. And I'm going to have a big-ass garden. And I already see it growing. It's getting fucking beautiful. So, you know, there's a lot of us out here that we know we're fucking awesome. We know we get down. We know we put in work. We know we got what it takes. We're smart. You know, we work we're badass workers. So now we got to take that energy and plant some seeds and use that badass worker that you are to grow your own garden. And you got to start somewhere. And it's going to be hard. And I'm still learning how to do these things. I'm just sharing more or less what I've understood so far. It's not easy. You have to learn something completely new. It's confusing. A lot of the stuff I study, I have to study over and over and over again. Because I don't even understand it. But eventually I start understanding it. You know, this, this month, just an example. I worked out physical exercise very strongly to where I... I felt exhausted and I physically started to hurt, but that's, that's something I decided this whole year that that's a seed that I care enough. The, the only reason I push through, the only reason I push through the uncomfortable feelings of, of not wanting to study more, of not wanting to exercise anymore, the only way that I push through the uncomfortable feelings of seeing Pizza, for example. But like, fuck that shit, dude. That ain't going to help me. That's not going to help my garden. My garden ain't... That ain't fertile. You know, that's not fertile soil to my garden. That's shit to my garden. I don't need that. I'm going to make my garden grow. I said I'm a badass. Like, I, you know you're a badass. You know you get down. Then that pizza's not fucking fertile for your garden. That pizza ain't going to do shit for your garden. Now, every once in a while, like I said... And you have to start somewhere. And if you and failure is a part of it. So you if you eat that pizza, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just one example. Whatever you're doing, but that's just one example. You can put it in your own, into your own um life. You know, maybe you're studying and then one day you don't study. Or maybe you're working out and then one week you don't. Whatever. But do your best to get back to it. And understand why you're doing it. Because you want to take care of your family. Because you want to be independent. Because you don't need to fucking focus on, you know, how other people run their businesses and how that annoys you and how you could run it better. Make your own shit and run your own shit better. But start learning what kind of things you want to run. What kind of garden do you want to have? And then start, start flooding your head with experience and knowledge. Flooding your being with hands-on experience, start diving into that shit that you want to do, into that field that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to do. But make sure that those seeds that you plant, the things that you decide that you want to do, make sure you really want to do them. Because if not, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna think about them. You isn't. It's not gonna make any sense. So, um. No, guys, this is all videos just to help, hopefully, somebody, even if it's one out of a hundred people. You got, you know, you got what it takes to do some crazy dope shit. You know, you got what it takes to earn more than $14, $15 an hour. You know, you got what it takes to be cruising in that Mercedes or whatever it is you want. Everybody wants their own thing. You know, you got what it takes to pay for your children's you know, um, activities, you know, like whether it's sports or whether it's going to summer camps or whether it's donating money to the school, you know, you got what it takes. You are that person. You can hold it down. You know, you know, you know, you get down. So now start finding a way start thinking about what you really love to do, what you really want to do. Why do you want to do it? Because you, cause you love your family. Because you're going to take care of Because you love being independent. Because you don't need to, you know, be worrying about unnecessary shit. Because you, you hold it down. So, you know, think about what it is you want to do. 
and go after it and start flooding yourself with fucking knowledge, learning how to do what you want to do, even if it's confusing at first. And be consistent. Don't expect, you know, from one day to another, one month to another, you're an expert or your garden is all grown. But don't stop. All right, guys. Talk to you all later. Peace out.